Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Spread the <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Make this intro real quick. <laughs> uh, today's ordeal is based on this stuff. Yes, this is my R56. But, uh, the R53s are going to be getting a couple of mods. Um, not the short shifter that I've had laying around for a while. Over a year, I think. Um, that's one. Uh, Black Flag USA, I believe it is, makes this. Oh, the name them in the description. Shift with the kit delay, carrying speed, aluminum shifter bushings for the box, and I decided to get myself a burnt um, shifter knob, which I think is kind of a little close to. Not really, but yeah, whatever. But yeah. So obviously, I'm not gonna go through all the details, but check your car up. The exhaust does have to come off. So. That's the other thing that sucks about the box. Um, this is my Omnium shift knob. Obviously, this thing just comes off like this. Um, there's details on how to take these torque screws off of here, take the pillars out for you to remove this box. You don't have to remove this box, technically. I, st I have to because I have to put the shift to book delete, but if you're doing just a short shifter, you don't need to remove this. Everybody knows about the knock yourself out shift knob removal <laughs> so there may be chances I might hit myself in the face by the end of the day but, like I said, I'm not gonna get to the details of what you guys gotta do for your exhaust but my exhaust is different obviously I have an aftermarket top speed exhaust so let's look at this crap <laughs> but this does have to come off I have to drop this fix my exhaust leaks because I got some new gaskets for that too and drop down the shifter box so i'm not going to give details on how to take all this stuff you guys should probably already know how to get this exhaust off the shield 10 millimeters i'm probably going to remove this from here just drop the whole exhaust instead of unbolting i'm just going to drop the whole thing might unbolt it there and then take off the mid pipe and the exhaust so as, as i go through this i might come back here and there are certain clips for the video so all right Give me a few. <laughs> All right, so sorry for the angle, but this kind of sucks being under. Uh, there's six 10 millimeter bolts, so this goes for anybody installing a short shifter. Obviously, my exhaust is different than yours, but basically now it's the same thing. Um, the full exhaust does have to come off in order for you to take this heat shield off and drop the shifter box, which sucks, but it's very involved, but hopefully it's very rewarding. So, like I said, take these off. I gotta get to my test pipe because I have a test pipe or whatever, but and then hopefully I should have access to heat and then be able to get the box on. Like I said, it's not for the faint of heart, but whatever feels like doing it, this is how you gotta do it. Take off your exhaust, take off the bracket, whatever the fuck it's called. Mid pipe bracket, I guess. And then you gotta detach it from there. Obviously it's gonna be easy for me because I have an aftermarket exhaust, like I said. So for anybody with OEM header and <laughs> exhaust, good luck. Uh, have some PB Blaster on hand because you're probably going to need it. But yeah, so I'll get back to you once all this crap is off. Alright, so I took off the exhaust. Like I said, <laughs> I got a lot of things to fix on this because this thing has leaks. So I'm finally going to put copper gasket. This is the exhaust gasket I came off with, which is bullshit. Um, advice for anybody buying aftermarket exhaust. Get a good gasket, don't I use the ones that came with it with the test pipe? So you can see they're pieces of shit. Um, which is why I'm replacing it with 
some vibrant exhaust gaskets. Damn, see quality. Junk. <laughs> That's just one of them. I haven't taken off the other one. Quality. So, I had to take off the other half of the test part now, but the exhaust is off, so. Uh, these are my bolts, obviously, like I said. There's six for the mid bracket, and then there's eight for the exhaust hangers. So, now I should be able to get to the heat shield. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a few eight mil. So, I believe there. I can't do this with one hand, so I'll get to this and I'll come back once this crap is off. I have to raise the car up because I'm a badass off the shit. So yeah, I'll come back. Alright, so thankfully I got my kid Ta -ta tell me. So she pulled this out, but yeah, there's one, two, three. There's six ten millimeters. this out and it should give you access to the box. <sighs> Sorry but this shit sucks. I wish I had a fucking lift. But there's your box. So I also think I need to cut it when I put the short shifter on which sucks but I need to raise the car more because my fat ass doesn't fit so for you skinny fuckers it's probably gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm a fat ass. Not really. I'm not gonna take this off too because I have a different fucking default that I wanna use. Yeah, I gotta change the gasket, so. I'm gonna drop the rear end from this jack and then raise it just to five. So I have all this space here. So, once I get the box out, I'll come back. So there's, I don't know what size these are, but when you get access to this, um, you do have this lid that you have to kind of take off. It has some little clips, as you can see there. Just pop them all off. I used one of these. So, yeah, pick these from Harbor Freight. And I believe after this, uh, what I need to do is attach it from the actual shifter so I can drop this down. So, hopefully these things will come off. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh shit. I don't even know what this is. Check it out. Huh. Okay. <laughs> um, so these things should pop off. They're probably pitch to take off anyways, but I need to pop them off and then flat head to slide the cables out and then get these bolts and there's two more here and then drop the whole box so I'll get back to that in a bit I should be able to just use like I said a flat head to pop these off it's probably gonna be hard but it should work but like I said I can't do this with one hand so I'll have to come back and do this after so I'll come back and show you guys all right, so I'm back. All right, so these are kind of a pain in the ass to pop off. This one's easy because you just use a flat and it and boom, pops off. This one will be a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, and it will be a pain in the ass to take off the safety clips or right here. These. Um, try to use a plier to pull it down or a screwdriver. Just just finesse it out. I mean, it's not rocket science but it is a bitch because it does have pressure so once all this is off you should be able to slide the cables off uh, here like that for when you drop the box so i gotta get some torques um, i'll find out what these are right now a bit take this off and drop the box so yeah let me get back to it give me a second all right well i'm back so <laughs>
So as you can see, I cut this because I can't get this damn shift knob off and I was stressed and pissed off and anyways it's not using it again so screw it. So I cut this shit just so I can bring it with the whole shift knob down. These are the brackets to hold the cable. This is the box. Um, uh, I believe I'm supposed to cut somewhere here too. If I want to use the shortest setting on the shifter knob, I gotta look for the diagram for that. But there's measurements I need to do a couple of the drum on leaf, but let me do that in a bit. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from my understanding is this pin should come off, and then there's three tabs. One, two, three. I need to pop off. So you can pop this white stuff off and pull them out, shift around. So. Um, yeah. This is backwards, but oh well. <laughs> this seems like this, even though it's supposed to go this way. <laughs> but it's flipped over, so I'll flip it up the other way right now. But yeah, there's a little eye on this here that you can flip, so that's at least of my worries. Um, this should be the one for this one. I know that there's two versions of this box white version and the black version so there's two different shift knobs of these actually from my understanding is I believe the smaller one of these or the other version of these does not fit this cable so these are the same as you can see so I do need to give it a little cleaning because it has like some spots that I don't know what the hell but, but yeah let me get to take this off and then I'll show it to, once I take this crap off and see what it looks like Uh, once you take this clip off, the clip off, you have this on the washroom, and this thing should come off. Now the other thing I need to do is I'm going to be popping these clips off. thing here was gonna be to use some zip chargers because <laughs> these are gonna be a bitch. <laughs> Have to get creative, honestly. This thing is going all over the place. Try not to break this because you will need to reuse this. I know it sounds hard coming for somebody like me. It's a to break this shit. I'm trying everything I can not to break it. All right. 
Let me get this oven, I'll come back. Okay, you probably will need help to be able to push these three pins here. These three. One, two, three. Then go here with this. Hold it. Uh, I had my kid pull on this while I was pushing the tabs because there's no way you can do this by yourself. Try to get somebody to help you if you can. Uh, also, this pin goes here. So, an example, this goes here. This goes here. And this is basically held by this pin, and that goes there. But yeah. all the stuff you really want to use, try to take this off carefully because you will use it for the shifter. And then this thing should just pop off this way. And you should be using You could buy a new one. Some people I think I may have an extra one. I'm not sure. Maybe or not. So if I don't, then yeah. But I think I am missing chunks of this. I don't really think about it. It looks like it's chunks are missing, so. I'm gonna look at the diagram, see what they look like, and see if I can order one. So, I mean, I finish this right now. But if it's not much neater, there's not much difference of what's missing here. I think it's just a little bracket, I'm not sure. Yeah. Let me just remove this one, but theoretically, this would go here. And this one go here. And yada, yada, yada. But, just say, one. I do need more grease. And two, um, I want to see what's really missing from this. I think it's just little tabs, just like this right here. See, so I may just order another one. I don't know. I'll see. I'll look at the diagram. See if I can order a part number. I'll put the part number in the description if I find it. In case you want to replace it. Um, besides that, these also got to come off. Because I will be reusing, uh, <clears throat> not reusing, but using um, the shifter uh, the box. Huh? The white box. I will be re uh, using uh, aluminum bushings. So, from my understanding, yeah, the kit comes with different bolts. I'm using a flathead. Just stab them and punch them out. Just like that. <sighs> May have to use some be harder and some, but we got the idea. Um, not sure if you need to remove these rubber bushings. I think you do. Curious now because I know the aluminum pins don't fit there. So I don't know. I'll get back to you in a bit about that. But I bought this stuff and then come in the kit. Well, from my understanding, these should go here. So, I do believe this rubber stuff is going to come off and we'll no longer use it. So, something to note. I might look into it, but I believe it will not longer use um, this rubber thing from here. So, yeah. Let me pop these off and look at exactly what this does and if it's going to need it or not. I'll look at the. I'll go on Cranium Speed's website too. But uh, this, this video will continue a little bit, just like I said, I'm going to go look for this part, see if I can find it, see exactly what it looks like was breaking off. I think it's just these little tabs here, I don't know if it matters, but just in case, I might look for it, so. Um, yeah. Alright guys, so, um, disregard the shifter part right now, this is going to be also an aluminum pushing install kit. Uh, like I said, push the bolts out. She will be able to push these out. So, and then you should be able to pop this off by pulling it using, you know, a screwdriver flathead to, you know, 
push it through here to be able to pop these ridges out, see? Now, from my understanding, um, this thing, it's kind of like an insulation, I guess you can say, to this box. Um, but when you put in install aluminum shifter things, these go here like this. Because they're supposed to be better than these rubber things that you know, flap all over the place, quote unquote. So I'm going ahead and taking it a step further and modifying this to fit these. So as you can see, this will squeeze right through. Bam. Now I don't know if that's going to defeat the purpose of this, but eh, I kind of like having this on top here so it's not so bare. So. There's no kit and stuff for this, so like I said, usually I guess normally this goes like this, and that's it. But because I'm gonna be creative, I'm modifying this thing, so I'm using a, a box cutter, cutting off around it, and just, I mean, it's not perfect <laughs> at all, <laughs> by any means, obviously, but, eh, it'll work, you know, like I said, once this is on there, I should be able to pierce it through and put this push in there and it should hold it really good um, so like I said you can try to just cut it Best of positions right now. No matter the camera's dead, but like I said, um, just take this around here. You know, try to cut it as even as possible against the rubber as you can. So it kind of gives you the shape <clears throat> that you can cut around. So. I just follow the the design. And that should leave you with that. Like I said, this should be able to go through. Yeah, that should work like that. <coughs> like I said, I don't know if this is good or not. Like I said, um, I'm just trying to modify my box so it's so it has this real cushion, I guess you can say. You don't have to do this, but I think it's cool. I mean. So it retains this and it goes back up. That is the only reason why I'm doing this. Um, obviously, the kit comes with its own bolts, which are, I guess, longer or whatnot. But yeah. there you go. See so. And that should hold it to that. I mean, like I said, it's not something you guys need to do for this kit. Theoretically, you're just supposed to 
slap this back on and, you know, put this on and call it a day, apparently. But since I want to be a little more creative, I guess, I'm going to try to retain this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut everything else and try to mount it and show you guys what I did at the end, I guess. So, you guys are going to have to give me a bit. Or I may just do a time lapse of this crap, I guess, at this point. Might as well. comes to these it seems like it has an, a lot more of an extra layer so <laughs> you guys may want to Seems like you do need to get a little more, uh, more in there. I guess you can say, because this won't <laughs> fit through here. It's not like these that seem like they fit through. I mean, it might be a little on the tight side, but these seem to be doing a little more finesse. So, like I said, you don't have to keep this. I just want to. So, yeah, whatever. To each their own, like I said. So, on these box, because this is the back part of the box. Here. You can tell just by the design of these little things here. And only for the back ones, I'm cutting along, I'm trying to cut along <coughs> this second hole here. Right there. So, just cut around it. So, let me get all this stuff and I'll come back. Alright, so, here's everything back on. There's some little black tabs you can pull to secure it onto it. Anymore. This is what I'm going to do once I put it on. It should go on. See, this should work like this. So, 
good shit. I have that there. You should be fine. Zero bushies are too lucky to listen. I'll put these after, but yeah. So, when we get back to put the shifter in, I'll show you guys how it looks, but that's what I'm going to be doing for the shifter bushings. So, I'll get back to all this stuff again. Alright, so I'm done now. It's back to some sorry for the background noise. I can't control that. Just get outside. Not my answer, but yeah. Shifter's on. The outer shifter comes with a disc with it already in case you want to use, you know, stock ass knob. Which I'm not gonna because I got myself a different knob. But yeah. So, so this is for the stock knobs, like I said. I'm not using a stock one, so. The hell with that. So I am taking this off and using it for now, which is this one for me. So, but I'll show you once that's on the car. I still do need to cut <clears throat> this part. And you look for the measurements of where you gotta cut because if I ever intend to use the lowest setting of the shifter, it does need here. So I do have to cut it somewhere here, so I gotta look for that one online, see what's up, but for now I'm gonna go into my car, take out my interior thing, and install this thing, so I'll get, you, I'll get back to that with, with you guys right now. Mm. Alright, so anyways, continuation of what I'm doing, um, circumstance of events, unfortunately for me, shit, I'm gonna have to take that off. Um... Need to remove this. I believe they're T30s. You do have to pop this off. Pop the glove box off. Take these pillars off in order for you to take this part out. Um, I believe you pop this off, and there should be one, two, three um, Phillips screws. So there's one here and one in each cup holder. Let's take a put the shift put delete right now. So I'm gonna do that. Take this off and put this in a second. Right, this thing has um, four little tabs. I don't know where the hell the other ones are at. Probably somewhere in there. Or I think I lost them. <laughs> so this is not that hard to take off. At least not for me. So I just stuck my hands through here. Pop it up. Disconnected the two cables and that's it. Like I said, it's a lot more harder when you have all the little clips. But for whatever reason, I'm missing <laughs> the majority of them. Like four of them. There's the Phillips screws. Like I said, it should be so good too. I'm using a T30, so I'm get these pillars off for now. I can take this off and show you guys once it's off. Okay, so there are four T30s, like I said, for the pillars. Uh, this thing does have two, which should pop up too. I'm missing a screw on this side, but there is another one on this side. So these are T20, I believe. There should be one on each side. Like I said, I'm missing one, so. Sorry, I guess I wasn't showing it. Damn, shit's long as fuck. So, there's that. Once you do that, you should be able to pop this off. See if you can do something else, but. Once you finesse these things out, I guess you kind of have to like play with it. Uh, kind of like pull on this at the same time while you're finessing it out. This is kind of a pain in this unit, but should you figure it out. Then after that, it's four screws, four Phillips. I 
direction this thing should come off. Now, depending on your setup, I have an aftermarket uh, lighter. Um, yours was going to be a different connector, obviously, but this is mine. Um, go ahead and disconnect it. That's it. Yours is different, so. That section won't apply to you, it's just how mine works. Take this time to see if you find some of these. <laughs> like I just did. Get your little things that go here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Now I got three. Still missing three, four more. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm not gonna look for them, so anyways. That's how you take this out. Um, now we can go ahead and put the shift in. I'll show you right now. Okay, once you finesse these things out, I guess you kind of have to like play with it. Uh, kind of like pull on this at the same time while you're finessing it out. This is kind of a pain in the ceiling there, but I'm sure you figure it out. Then after that, it's four screws, four Phillips. And this thing should come off. Now, depending on your setup, I have an aftermarket uh, lighter. Um, yours was going to be a different connector, obviously, but this is mine. Um, go ahead and disconnect it. That's it. Yours is different, so. That section won't apply to you, it's just how mine works. But yeah. Take this time to see if you find some of these. <laughs> like I just did. Get your little things that go here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Now I got three. Still missing three, four more. <laughs> So, anyways, that's how you take this out. Um, now we can go ahead and put the shift in. I'll show you right now. Alright, so, so, like I said, once this is off, um, sorry, this video is going to be pretty long because I'm doing a lot of stuff in one shot. I'm doing a shift to boot delete. For this, this should be going here. Uh, this is the Black Flag USA shifter kit. For anybody wondering, I'll put a description in there. Or a link to their stuff <clears throat> on the description box, hopefully. Uh, also, uh, one thing to know. Uh, these are pretty affordable for the Crane Speed. I'm not, I'm not gonna say which one to get. Crane Speed makes a great one too. Just, I'm on a budget, it's a mini, not just spend. I'm not gonna like this. So, I'm trying to stay under a budget. So, I think these are like 40, 50 bucks maybe? Now, he does make different ones. I actually have one on this Mar 56 too. Um, I like it. Like I said, it's everybody different piece, but yeah. it's unfortunately not 
unfortunately the R56 one you can just snap it on this shit. You actually have to remove this whole thing. It sucks. So basically it just goes on like this. It comes with everything provided. Use the screws. This is gonna work after all. So, anyways. That's what you slap on. So it looks. And lastly, this goes under this with a shifter. But, you know. I can't put this till I put this after, so this should go there like that, technically. There's also a spring to desupply. Which is that one right there. So yeah. Pretty much narrows it down. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it fits with the shifter because now I'm having my thoughts. <laughs> May or may not work. Who knows? I'll find out right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get back to this. So let me go put the shifter box on there. And then I'm going to put this last because I'm going to cut it first. So I'm going to put this on for now. Then come back and put this and see how it looks so you guys can get an idea. So. Alright, so once you get under here, like I said, um, this is where the upgraded shifter brush is going for the box. I haven't put the lid because like I said I'm going to cut it I'm going to look at here. Alright, sorry guys but this thing is going to be all over the place or crooked or... Oh. Sorry, I guess it was this way. Sorry, but I ran out of space so I'm going to Whatever. Shift the bushings. I love it up here. I still use the rubber piece that I told you guys I want to keep. Uh, this is a Allen 5 socket, I guess. You see it there, you see it there. Um... I'm out of memory of my other shit, so <laughs> sorry. I'm probably not gonna show me putting the cover back, or I may try just in a bit, but sorry. The editing is gonna be all over the place on this video, unfortunately, but. So go ahead, mount these, I think I said. It's easy, you just put these back, the cables, put the clips back here. And then these. But I need to answer that, like I said, so. I'll get to this and I'll record how my shifter looks on top of the new shifter kit. I'm starting to think that this might not work with the auto shifter and I'm kind of beating myself on it, but I don't know. So, yeah, I'm about to come back in that part. <laughs> All right, uh, little uh, modification uh, uh, update that I had to do 
for you guys to let you know. I'm oh, sorry I needed to clean this crap or whatever. It was used, so whatever. I'm not too picky about it. Um, this kit that I bought, and I don't think even a Craven one fits. So if I were you guys, I would just buy a Black Flag one. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there's no way this was going to fit. It just comes with the kit through that. Maybe through this, but yeah, you know. No, I'm not... I'm not sure if this is the same issue you'll have with the Cranium Speed. This is for my Alta shifter, so take that with a grain of salt. So what I did was took a Dremel to it, made the hole bigger so you can slide through this, and then used the different O-ring that I got from a kit, which I'll show you guys right now. This one here. I believe I used the biggest one, which was one inch diameter. And I even used a caliper to measure two, so it's correct. Um, I believe the stock one was about 75. No, 0.75 mil. Or inches, I guess. I don't know what the hell I have it on. Yeah, inches, mother. So I had to make it about a quarter wider. So can, this one was slid through the shifter. And then... It. got it to work so now i'm just gonna put that other stuff here bolt everything back on put my shift now i'm gonna show you what it looks like all right so follow up for the cover um I have my dremel i'm cutting a hole this big i don't know if this is enough clearance already but i need to cut more this way but so far is about i guess you know, three inches or so give or take another Three or something like almost a three by three by three whatever yeah. there's no real perfect way to do this but just make sure you can cut a section so if you do decide to complete it completely make it a short shifter it can clear and not hit the box i know they sell boxes for like the r56 and i think they used to have some for the r53 back in the day but i can't find them anymore so just make your own yes all right take that off and hopefully it clears so i'm gonna go try to snap it on back on and see what it looks like Hopefully, I don't know if it needs a bigger hole. Hopefully not, but we'll check it out. Later. I'll let you guys know. All right, so uh, once you get back, so once you've done the cutting, go ahead and snap this shit back. should look something like that unfortunately like i said you have to cut it because once you start loading this this thing hits the box hopefully <laughs> it clears enough to where i don't have to cut more <laughs> that's gonna suck i have to take this off so i may test it in a bit right now but we'll see right now That's what it looks like here, so I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Uh, aluminum bushings, shift the box modded, bam, 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 and this should be good. All right, and everything after everything said and done, go ahead and mire your short shifter. That's what it should look like. So yeah, it was a very long process, and I still gotta put the exhaust back, <laughs> which I'm not gonna record and show you guys, but. You guys, I'm pretty sure you can figure it out. Same way I take it off, same way it goes back on. And I still got a couple of gaskets to change. Put the heat shield back on. But at least like this, you guys have a idea of how to do this. And how to even use this thing if, you know, 
you end up with an auto shifter like I did. I bought it used, that's why I didn't condone spending 200 bucks on a shifter. I didn't want to, so 40 bucks, I'm happy as hell. So I spent about maybe 100 bucks for everything. So it's like 30, 40, it's like 40, 50 bucks. I forgot. You gotta check his website, but yeah. And any other miscellaneous stuff is extra. The aluminum shifter bushings, I think, are 25 from Craven Speed, too. So overall, 100 bucks or so invested but i think it's well worth it don't <laughs> clown that because i ain't rap it it was my homeboy and i still thank him for it because he tried so whatever but anyways uh coming up next should be this removal and installed my new wheel setup so and sooner than later my bucket seats because these things were beat to shit since i got it so this is how the car came so yeah all right thanks for watching like subscribe comment flame me whatever Ask questions, follow me on Instagram, same as my channel, J underscore spool. And yeah, peace out, take care. Lutes.